Let's take a look at multiplying uh, fractions on a TI-34 multi-view calculator. Specifically, the one we want to look at is 10 18s times 9, 9 12 So I do my fraction button, and then I'll do 10, down arrow, and then put 18 in, right arrow to get it out of the fraction, times, and I'll push my N over D button, and I got 9 12 so I do 9, and then down arrow to 12, right arrow to get it out of the fraction, now, um, when I push enter, see how the top part's 10, 10 times 9? That gives you 90, and I don't know what 18 times 12 gives you, but let's see. It just straight goes across and multiplies them. 10 times 9 is 90, 18 times 12 is 216. But there's a little arrow here. Well, see how there's a uh, simplify button here? If I push that and then press enter, it recognizes that they're both divisible by 2. So it divided the top part by 2, divided the bottom part by 2. And it tells you the the common factor was two. Um, now the um, if I push the simplify again, and then press enter, it recognizes that they were both probably divisible by three. Um, so it divides the top part by three, the bottom part by three, and it tells you that that uh, they were both divisible by three. And if I do simplify again and press enter gives you 5 twelfths because at 15 and 36 both divisible by 3 so that gives you 5 twelfths so this this calculator does a little bit more instead of just giving you the answer directly it helps you to, to learn um, it tells you how to simplify the fraction now um, it doesn't necessarily it doesn't go with the great the greatest number that divides in top and bottom it just thinks of uh, like the, the smallest number prime wise that divides into the top and bottom but 5 twelfths is our answer and that's uh, adding and subtracting on a, um, well, actually, I got a little bit more to show you. I'm lying to you. <laughs> you can freehand put it in. Or that's not adding and subtracting, it's multiplying. I wake up here. You, If you're going to put it in freehand, you have to do your beginning parentheses, then you do your 10 divided by 18, closing parentheses times beginning parentheses 9 divided by 12. And I'll put a closing parentheses. I always recommend to put parentheses around your fractions if you're doing a freehand like that. Adding, subtracting, you don't need to do it, but if you're going to multiply or divide, go ahead and do that. Now, if you press enter, we're going to get a decimal. And um, this N over D button above it that says F to D, that's fraction and decimal or decimal to fraction. So to change this decimal to a fraction, we're going to do our second N over D button and then press enter and gives us 5 twelfths. In this manner, you don't have to go through all the simplification. Um, it, are, it already has it in simplified form. To go back to decimal, you can do second n over d uh, again. Now, if you type that in without the parentheses, so if you do 10 over 18, so 10 divided by 18 times 9 over 12, and then press enter, we get the same uh, answer, and if I change it to fraction, you get 5 twelfths. So you might be thinking, well, he's full of it. You don't need to put parentheses. No, you don't. Uh, division is actually where you need to put it. When I'm uh, when I'm instructing students on how to use the calculator, I always recommend do it for multiply and divide, um, and then you never have to think about when, when do I use those parentheses again. Um, just always use them. I'm almost to the point where I'm thinking about telling students to on the adding and subtracting. If you're typing in freehand like what I just did, then always put parentheses around the fractions. Now, if you're using the N over D button, you don't need to worry about that because it's taken care of automatically. And that was multiplying on a TI-34 multi-view.